Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. The 2021 locality boa breeding season is just around the corner. Today I want to show you some beautiful Suriname and Peruvian true red tail boas that I'm planning on pairing up in a few months time. If you want to follow my 2021 breedings, as well as learn all about keeping and breeding boa constrictors in captivity, be sure to subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming boa videos. Even though it's been less than a month since my last litter of 2020, I'm already moving forward with my 2021 breeding. And I expect that this is gonna be my best year yet with my greatest number of pairings. I'll probably have about a dozen or so pairings of locality boas. And I'm gonna come up with a series of videos in the next month or two showing you some of the animals I'm planning on pairing up. And for the first video in the series, I'm going to focus on Suriname and Peru true red tail boas. As you probably know, the true red tail boas are really my bread and butter. And they're the reason I started my breeding operation I also pride myself on having produced litters of true red tail boas every year since 2014 when I produced my first one. And next year I'm hoping to have my best breeding season ever with a record number of both types of true red tail boas produced as well as the total number of offspring. As far as Suriname true red tails, I plan on having two pairings and the first will be sired by this guy who made his debut here at, in 2020 produced his first successful litter of Suriname true red tail boas. This is a 2014 holdback animal that I call Picasso, who was the number one pick for my first litter of true red tails produced back in 2014. And he's just a gorgeous animal. Unfortunately, he's in shed right now, so he's not quite as brightly colored as normal, but you've probably seen him since I bring him up pretty often in my other videos. But he's just got this perfect symmetrical peak pattern, this beautiful, light, clean, background color and a very long red tail. He's also behaviorally a great snake. He's got this great laid back temperament, more laid back than a lot of my true red tail boas. Just a pleasure to handle and get out and you know admire his beauty. Just you know top notch true red tail boa and he'll be paired with a different female this year so I'm hoping to produce some more great babies from this guy. This is the female that I'm planning on pairing Picasso up with. This is a 2014 female produced by my buddy Matthew Blackburn over at World Class Boas. And this animal was produced by stock from the late great Bob Fudo, as well as some wild caught stock. So great bloodlines on this boa. And she really has this kind of different look for Suriname. She's got kind of more blocky saddles and a real nice purpley coloration, a real nice bright orangey red tail. Um, she's definitely got the dirty look. She's got a lot of background markings and freckling and things like that. Just a really cool boa. Also some really great head markings on this one. And so this girl's never been bred before. This will be her first time. And so hopefully she will produce some beautiful babies with my male Picasso and I'll have some new boas available in the summer of 2021. And my other plan, Suriname Red Tail Litter for 2021, will hopefully be sired by this guy. This is a Prometheus Bloodline Suriname male that was born here in 2016. This guy I actually call Prometheus Jr. just because he looked the most like his famous father out of all the babies in the litter. You can see he's just got this really high contrast with these dark saddles and this wild looking background. And then most importantly, he's got this crazy super long bright red tail just a spectacular looking animal and I'm really excited to take this project into the second generation uh, so this guy will be ready to go in a couple months and meet his new girlfriend for 2021. Prometheus Jr. will be paired up with this female this is a 2014 holdback this is from my first litter of true red tails I produced and she's a full sibling to the male uh, Picasso that I showed you at the beginning but just another really spectacular animal. I really love the saddles on this animal. She's got these beautiful peak saddles. And then she's got this gorgeous kind of purpley lilac body color and this beautiful long bright dark red tail. Just a beautiful looking animal. You can see she's uh, definitely ready to breed. She's now 
six years old and so she'll be seven years old when she produces her first litter assuming that things go well. Just a really nice boa in good shape for breeding and I'm looking forward to the results of this potential pairing. So now we'll move on to the Pacalpa Peruvian true red tail locality and I have two pairs planned for 2021. So the first will be sired by this guy and this guy made his debut in 2020 and sired a litter of babies. So he'll get a new uh, girlfriend for this year. But uh, unfortunately he's in shed now so his colors are a little bit dark. But just a really cool looking boa. Um, what's unusual about this guy is he's got these peak saddles which you don't see in Peruvians too much. But he's got this uh, golden brownish body color. Well, he's a little bit darker than my other uh, Pacalpa Peruvians. He's got a lot of background markings and speckling on his belly. Just a gorgeous animal. And he's also got this super muscular body. It's impressive how much this guy's developed in the last five years as he's grown up. So you can also see his long, dark, bright red tail. It's just a gorgeous Peruvian true red tail. And hopefully he'll repeat his success in, of he had in 2020 with more babies in 2021. That male Peruvian, I plan on pairing up with this female. And she's just a gorgeous animal with this beautiful golden coloration. I bring her out a lot in my videos. She may well be my favorite Peruvian of them all. And you can clearly see why from her color. I also love her markings. She's got these kind of jungly looking, geometrically shaped markings. And she's got a beautiful, beautiful tail. Just beautiful dark red. Really nice symmetry to her tail saddles. And then you can see all the beautiful dark pigment on her sides and belly. Just a spectacular looking example of a Procalpa Peruvian red tail boa. This female hasn't bred yet, so looking forward to hopefully getting some nice babies from her. And these will undoubtedly be among the best Peruvians that you can get. My other Procalpa Peruvian litter will hopefully be sired by this guy. So you can see just a gorgeous example of a Peruvian. You can see he's got this really clean, light, bright, golden yellow color, especially the clean uh, dorsal surface. And then looking at his sides, you can see he's got quite a few markings. Just a gorgeous jungly look to this Peruvian. And then he's got really thin saddles. I know a lot of people out there just love the thin saddle looks in the Peruvian boas. And that's what I was looking for when I got this guy. Just really thin, cool looking saddles. And then, you know, the typical long, kind of dark red tail. Gorgeous example of a male, true Peruvian red tail boa. And that male will be paired with this female, who's the last boa I'm going to share with you today. This is a 2015 female that's never been bred. Unfortunately, she's in shed right now, just like a few of the other boas in today's video. Seems like a lot of times I'm play I plan a video and then some of the boas I want to feature are in shed so I have to just deal with it. But you know normally her colors are brighter and lighter. This one has really nice light coloration. Really bright golden yellow color with the long red tail. It's another gorgeous animal. She's got really beautiful head markings and beautiful head shape. Uh, another gorgeous example. So as I mentioned, I have a record number of true red tail pairings I'm planning for 2021 and hope to produce some spectacular boas next year. So I plan to start cycling all my animals and gradually lowering the temperature at night, starting in probably mid-November. And then I'll pair up animals starting in mid to late December. And so these guys will be put together then and we'll see what happens. Typically with true red tails, it's a very long-term process and I don't end up having gravid females until April at the earliest, often not until May or even June. And so the babies are typically born between August and October. Had a couple litters this year in September. Um, but I really look forward to getting these pairings together. As I mentioned, I have more pairings I'm planning and I plan on releasing some additional videos showing you my other locality pairings for 2021. So stay tuned for those. As always, shoot me any questions or comments you may have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.